Hey guys, Indy here with Ultimate Tour Reviews. Well, just got out from Costco and I saw this $99 DeWalt um, basically socket set with a couple other things in there as well too. Decided to pick it up today. Uh, I'm just looking for a new socket set. Um, I've owned plenty of socket sets from Cobalt to... Uh, I've had a few DeWalt's now. Um, had a Milwaukee back in the day and a few other ones as well too. Some from Harbor Freight, of course. And I always really liked the DeWalt sets. I really liked how the ratchets were. Um, the lettering has always been pretty cool in the DeWalt stuff. And I really like the cases, too. The cases seem to hold up really well. So it's actually a pretty good deal. 184-piece set. There is some filler pieces in here. Um, depending on what you do, they might be useful, might not be. For me, the nut setter stuff is generally pretty useless. But I do like having the bits in there. Sometimes if I'm, you know, on a job site, I need some random little bit. Uh, I might find it in here. Uh, versus, you know, regular, you know, bit set that I've got laying around in my truck as well. So I can definitely find the tools I need in here as well. Also, they got the hex keys as well, too, which is pretty nice. So let's pop this thing open and let's check it out. So just the cardboard overlay here. And uh, this actually set is not exclusive to Costco. Um, just a quick search online, I found that's like 156 bucks or so at Home Depot. And it's also a few other places as well. So you definitely will save quite a bit. And uh, buying it at Costco, it's a pretty good deal for 186 pieces, or 184 pieces, sorry, uh, for 99 bucks. And it does include a uh, quarter inch ratchet, a uh, three eighths inch ratchet, and a half inch ratchet, which is pretty nice. Um, one thing to note too is I know, you know, you, you see black, uh, sockets and you think, oh, it's, it's impact rated. Um, I couldn't find anything that said this is impact rated or not impact rated. I'm going to assume it's not impact rated. If I look at the Home Depot website for the same model, it's showing that it's black chrome. So that's what I would assume. It's just not impact rated. Let me pull out a socket here. Definitely feels like chrome to me. You can almost tell that it was basically painted. If you look inside the socket there, it's kind of just a, uh, almost like a paint on these. So it's kind of interesting. Got a little bit of the uh, oil or residue on there. You can, you can kind of see some of the, um, I don't know if it's paint or oil in the case here as well too. But anyways, let's check out the ratchets. I've actually always been a pretty good fan of these ratchets. Um, this is just the quarter inch one. They're uh, not the smoothest ratchets I've seen, but the action on these is definitely really nice. Almost feel a little wet out of the box here, like almost moist. I don't know what that is exactly. Maybe the oil from the manufacturing process there, but some of there's more oil on these than usual. Just my kind of my first impressions of this right now. Well, this is pretty nice. Uh, I've got an older DeWalt set that I bought about two years back and uh, never liked the screwdriver in there, but this is actually a pretty well-made screwdriver here. Uh, I've got a, just a quarter inch here on the front. I'm assuming that there is going to be, yeah, here we go. Here's an adapter. So now I can use different bits with it. Not a ratcheting screwdriver, which is nice. I've never been a fan of ratcheting screwdrivers myself at all. I just prefer a regular screwdriver like this where I can just, you know, pop a bit into it and I'm good to go. Never been in a situation where I had to like ratchet it around. I could always fully turn a screwdriver. So just kind of my opinion there. If you don't want a ratcheting screwdriver, this is definitely a pretty good set here. Um, got some decent extensions in here. Also got the um, usual spark plug. I've actually got another one of these. I actually found one on the road not too long ago. Probably about a year ago I found one just laying on the road and uh, grabbed that. But otherwise, let's take a, take a look at what we got here for socket sizes. Uh, looks like we've got SAE and metric for both. For quarter inch, we've got most sizes up to, uh, looks like it's between 4 and 14 with no skips for metric. SAE is 532nd up to 916th. Uh, that's going to be your shallow for deep socket. We've got 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 for metric. 316th to 516th. Uh, looks like going to be 3 eighths is going to be having your most amount of stuff here um, for pretty much everything. It's only 13 sockets for a uh, half inch drive here. So 
definitely if you're doing smaller size bolt projects, um, this is gonna have a majority of what you're gonna need here in this, uh, in this kit. Um, plenty of the quarter inch, three eighths inch stuff here. Not a whole lot of uh, half inch stuff in here. That's fine, um, I don't really use a ton of half inch sockets anyways. Um, I'm mostly using, for what I do for work, I mostly do quarter inch and three eighths inch anyways. But you know, it's always nice to have some half inch stuff. And this is quite the beefy wrench here. A lot of uh, length in this wrench is nice. Almost wish they would throw a uh, something up here would be kind of cool. Seems like they just have some open space there on this wrench, on this ratchet here. But uh, let's check these wrenches out. Here's one you're probably gonna lose. Let's see here. Oh, there's no there's no 10 millimeter wrench in here. That's kind of strange. <laughs> I think they have a 10 millimeter wrench in here. It goes, uh, I got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 17 for metric. For SAE, I've got 5 ace, 9 16 half inch, 7 16 and 3 ace. So let's check these wrenches out. These are pretty nice. Wrenches here. Got 12 point on the closed end. Nothing special here on the opened end. Sometimes, I know the Milwaukee ones have a little bit of teeth in there. Um, nothing too special. They're not overly light either. Um, you know, just kind of strange. Almost like these are definitely painted. If you look inside the closed end there, it is definitely not all the way black. So, interesting there. I, I would assume it would start chipping off inside the open end of this wrench here pretty quick. Uh, one thing with the set here that seems to always just fall out, and I generally take these out and throw them away pretty quick anyways, uh, is going to be all the nut setter stuff. Or they call them nut drivers, nut setters, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're luckily all were in here fine. They just, they never really hold in here. I never seem to use these ever. Um, so it's something I just, you know, you just, just toss out quick. Now for me, what I like to use is I use a ton of these bits here. And I seem to never find enough of them are going to be the, uh, basically your smaller star bits or Torx bits. Um, I seem to use these decently often. So I like to keep these in there. Always helpful to have those. Um, as well as some of these uh, hex keys as well too. I like how uh, DeWalt's got the yellow here and the black there to separate uh, SAE and metric on those. It is really nice to have. Um, I use these, you know, once in a while. Not a ton, but nice to have them in this kit. Um, other than that, not too much else to talk about in this kit. There is a decent amount of extensions for each one. Um, let's see here. I don't think there's any half-inch extensions. No, no half-inch extensions in here at all. Just to be aware, this is definitely not a, a decent uh, set to have if you're looking for half-inch in here. A very limited half-inch. Um, mostly going to be quarter-inch and three-fourths is the focus of this set here. Um, but let's see what else is here. I'm going to pull out a few other sockets and see what I can find out. Here's your 10 millimeter quarter inch deep socket. Probably one you're going to lose pretty quick. <laughs> Everyone makes fun of how fast you can lose 10 millimeter sockets. But seems pretty good. Uh, if you look in here though, you do see where they, I believe they probably all just sprayed black and then they put the lettering on. Um, probably just all chrome sockets. I would assume these are probably not impact rated sockets. Um, I can't remember that they don't say black chrome or what the metal is anywhere on these. Um, so that's interesting to note. Um, but you know, it is a $99 socket set. Um, I think it's a pretty good value for what you're getting in here. You know, DeWalt's lifetime warranty is pretty solid. Um, I think I've only broken like one or two um, hand tools from DeWalt. Gave them a call and they had them ship out to me the next day. So never had an issue with their warranty before. Of course, I don't think they have any places you can go in person to exchange them. But, you know, calling on, calling them up and they'll mail them to you. Never really been an issue here. And they also got all the model numbers of these written right on the sockets. Um, I'll let you know, guys, know in a few months if those are wearing off any of these. So we'll see how much wear and tear these can take. But... You can see my hand here. I'm getting a little bit of uh, like black stuff. I'm not sure if that's oil or it's some uh, some of the paint that just stayed in the plastic and it is wiping off now. But overall, not a bad set. Um, it's of course decently heavy. I'd say it's probably in the 15 pound range. And let's check the 
let's check the size of this kit here. So if you're thinking about throwing your truck, it's gonna be about 19 and a quarter wide. It's gonna be just under three and a half inches tall. And gonna be right about 14 and a half deep there. So not too bad of not too bad of a size kit here, guys. Um, looking for mostly three eighths inch and quarter inch sockets with some assorted wrenches in there. Um, of course, note these aren't ratcheting wrenches. I'd love to have those. Uh, but other than that, guys, pretty good value for 99 bucks. Um, lots of stuff in here. Uh, overall, you know, great mix of variety of stuff to pick out here. We'll see what the quality is. I'm going to use this for a few months, and I'll get back to everyone and do another video and uh, see how the quality works out. But guys, thanks for watching, and leave a comment below, and uh, take care.